Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with a really exciting first impressions, demo, tutorial, and review on the brand new Huda Beauty Tantor contour and bronzer creams. Let's get right into the video. So all I have on my face right now is my foundation and my under eye concealer. I picked this up in two shades. I have medium and I have light. So these are what the creams look like. You have the Huda Beauty logo on the front and then your simple shade and name on the back. Super slim, compact case. And there's an airtight stopper on the top, which I really appreciate. And she does mention that you do want to close it as soon as you're done using the product because that airtight effect is what's going to keep the product really emollient. I love the Chanel Soleil cream bronzer and in my mind, this is similar. I've never touched them, so I don't know. Or rather, I'm hoping it's gonna be similar. And I did buy the brush that goes with this. So I'm just gonna clean it off real quick. It has a soft, but still pretty dense and firm shorter side and then you have the larger side which looks like it's going to be a dense stiff kabuki brush but there's definitely a lot more movement than i thought i watched the video that huda did on these to get some background and she said you can use them two ways you can use it like a classic contour just where you want it or it's really more meant to be used as a bronzer and contour in one i like this concept because i don't really use contour very often i prefer just using my bronzer as my contour so the way she applies applied it was pretty liberally in the areas that you are going to contour and bronze, which is I think how I'm going to do it today. So this is what the shade light looks like. That looks pretty good. This is the medium, which looks significantly darker, but I do know from what I've seen that these blend out pretty easily. I'm going to go in with the light one first though. I'm just taking this side of it to create whatever shapes I want. Also this red spot right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Don't worry about it. It's a burn from a curling iron and uh, I played myself. Also, when I said I had foundation on, I don't know why I said that because I definitely don't. I'm wearing the base from my no foundation makeup look. So go check it out if you wanna know how to get this. Wow, okay. So she's not joking. This really blends out super easily. So I'm kind of glad I got the light shade because I think you can be more liberal. I like to start my cream contours or bronzers a little bit higher than where I want it to end, which is like just below that line because as you blend it, the tendency for it to move around is higher. Gonna get the nose. We're just gonna really do the most. And actually I'm gonna bring that up to my brow because I like that look and then of course I'm gonna get the double chin and then I like to just catch the back end of the jaw so that it looks more shadowed there so you get that shape and definition especially when you're taking photos and videos I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit just because I like to make sure everything looks even oh this is blending out like already like just as I'm setting it down it's blending out and then I'm actually gonna just put it into the crease. And I like to put it and then just flick the end out to give my eyes more of an elongated shape. And then we'll just catch the bottom, why not? I'm gonna close this up and I have put on that airtight stopper. And then I'm gonna take this side and just start blending. You can get your ears too if you want. Wow, that's really blending out super quick. That looks great. Wow, very impressed. So I'm not wearing a full face of foundation just because I don't on a daily basis, but I wonder if you did wear a full coverage foundation. Now she did, and I didn't really notice anything in her video, but I wonder if you wore a full face, would it move the foundation? I don't know. And then I'm just gonna get, wow, did you see that? It was a part that I hadn't blended out right here. And then I just like lifted it cause I don't want it dragging down lower onto my face. 
and it just completely blended out. It really is so similar to the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel like mousse in the pot. But what's cool about this is that only comes in one color. This comes in multiple and this is significantly less expensive. So out of curiosity, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna take the medium shade and what I'm gonna first do is feel it. So this is the medium shade, but when you blend it out, it blends into like nothing. Like there's no stickiness, there's no texture on the skin. It just looks like skin. And look how easy it was to blend. And I'm pretty sure the more you blend, the softer it gets based off of what happened on my face and just what happened on my hand. So I'm gonna, just gonna take the same brush and I'm just gonna intensify around the perimeter of my face. And you can see even just there as I was applying it, it's like blending itself out. This is wild. I'm really into this. Let's just give the arrow to the double chin and just pop it onto the lids. Just mostly on the outer part. I am pressing it rapidly. I'm kind of bouncing this almost like a beauty blender, which you absolutely can use a beauty blender. And I'm just pressing it into the skin. Then I'm taking the edge, I'm just getting the eyes. So I grabbed the sponge that I used for my makeup today. This is the Linda Hallberg sponge. I'm just using the bottom and it is slightly damp. Wow, that's really nice. And I think I'm just gonna kinda go over everything just to see what happens. Get that into that hairline. We want no seams. Again, because I'm not using a full coverage foundation, you're gonna see more of my skin, but that's just the way that I apply my base makeup. I am gonna go back into the light shade and I'm gonna bounce the sponge directly into this and then onto my face. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. So there's a lot of product on my face. By the way, I really love this light shade. I think it's a, like a legitimate tan looking shade for my skin tone. We're just gonna work to blend that out. Yeah, that blends really nicely, guys. Wow! So now what I'm gonna do is finish the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna use the same stuff that I have been using just to keep it really standard. So I'm back before I finish the rest of my makeup and I wanted to show you guys what my face looks like just set with powder. When you do put on makeup, you lose a lot of those natural contours and shapes in your face. So this helps maintain it, but it looks so natural and it looks just like skin. I love the way my skin looks. Let me finish the rest of my makeup for real, for real now. Okay, so this is the finished look. For the face, there's very little on top of what you guys saw. The makeup applied really easily, nothing caught, nothing spread, nothing separated. And I am wearing no bronzer. And I feel like I got a very similar effect to when I put bronzer on with just the tan tour. You guys should definitely try these out. Whether you are a beginner, whether you are advanced, you can use this all over your face, all over your body. They just blend so beautifully and I love the color range that it comes in. There are some really beautiful deep rich shades. I think the brush is a really cool companion to the product, especially if you are a beginner. It just takes a lot of the thought process out of it on what to use and how to use it. If you feel very comfortable with beauty sponges and other brushes you own, I don't think you really need this, but it is a good quality brush. But this is really the star. This definitely exceeded all my expectations. So go get your tan tour on. That brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little first impressions demo tutorial. Leave a comment down below for me and let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future and I will get on them ASAP. But until my next video, thank you guys as always so much for tuning in and I'll catch you soon. Bye!